What's up guys, John here and welcome to Baltimore Retro Gaming. And today we're going to do a pickups video. And I haven't made a pickups video in quite some time and really it's all due to the fact that I really don't buy games like I used to. I mean, I'm starting to get to that point in my collecting where it, it's kind of hard to find the stuff that I'm looking for, whether it be it's super expensive, it's extremely hard to find, or it's an import. And a lot of the stuff I'm going after is import. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, you guys know I love the uh, the shoot 'em ups or the, the shmups, as, as you guys call them. Um, anyway, guys, sit back, relax, and let's check out some of the more recent pickups that I've grabbed over, I'd say, the last you know one to two months. Okay guys, so we're going to start with the Super Nintendo, and I have bought one Super Nintendo game over the last, I'd say, uh, five weeks, maybe a little over a month, but I do love shooters for the Super Nintendo. I pretty much have everything that I want that's not super expensive, like obviously I don't have a copy of Aero Fighters, although I do know a store that has a copy of Aero Fighters with a damaged label, and they're asking price is fair, but it's still more than I'm willing to pay for it. But, like I said, I love shooters. You guys know I love shooters. And a more recent one that I picked up, I actually found this for 5 bucks. And it's not a super expensive game, but it's a good one. And that's Earth Defense Force for the Super Nintendo. Um, you know, I'm not going to go and grab a bunch of gay play, game play, gay play, <laughs> game play footage uh, to show you guys. But if you guys are curious, you know, let me know in the comment section if it's a video you want me to make on a specific game. And if you want to see the gameplay footage, you know, I'm sure there's tons of videos on YouTube about all the games I'm going to show you. But this is a really good shooter. It's an extremely hard shooter. I can't make it past the third level on this game. But yeah, Earth Defense Force, you know, definitely check this one out for the money. Totally worth it. Okay, so we're going to move on to the PlayStation 1. And although I have grabbed more games than what I'm about to show you, these are some of the highlights of the stuff that I've grabbed and, you know, found at yard sales and stuff like that. Um, okay, so this first game, and I can't believe that I didn't have this in my collection because it's a really common one, and it's a really good game. You know, Squaresoft, they really knocked it out of the park with this one. And I'm not a huge fan of strategy RPGs, but I do love this one, and that's Final Fantasy Tactics. Um... You know, this game does look kind of dated by today's standards, but it's a really awesome RPG. Um, this is actually the game that got me into strategy RPGs. I played it years ago. I just never owned my own copy. But now I do. Final Fantasy Tactics. Definitely look into that one. This is... I, I, don't, I didn't pay that much for it. That's why I own it now, but 30 bucks, 20, 25, 30, somewhere in that range. Okay, so this next game, I actually did a video on this game. And some of these games I'm going to show you, I did do videos on. So if I seem a little bit repetitive, I do apologize. Um, this is one that you might not want to pick up. It's not that good. And I just bought it because of the cover, honestly. I paid $10 for this game. And it's not even worth that, in my opinion. And you guys might disagree with me, but that is Contra Legacy of War. Um, yeah, I just don't like the controls on it. It's a twin, it's a 3D twin stick shooter, and it, it was kind of made in that uh, that period where you know Sony and really all companies for that matter they were testing out 3D for their systems, and it was a phase that they needed to go through to get to where they're at today. But yeah, this one got caught in the crossfire of that uh, that transitional period. Contra Legacy of War, you know, one that you might want to skip over. I actually don't know why I'm showing it to you in this video. Okay, but it does have a cool cover. Okay, so this next one's a good one. This next one's a really good one. I paid $20 for this game at a, one of my local retro game stores, and I always wanted this game. I couldn't ever find it. It's an amazing shooter. I do believe it is part of the Gunbird series. It's related in some, some type of way, but that is Mobile Light Force. Um, I think I did a video on this game, too. Excellent shooter. Do not let the cover of this game fool you. This is an awesome shooter. If you see this game, definitely pick it up. Okay, we're going to move on to the Sega Dreamcast. I, I don't know if I've really conveyed this to you guys, you know, to YouTube. I love Sega. I love the Sega CD. I absolutely am infatuated with the Sega Saturn. Uh, the shooters on that system, the RPGs, everything's amazing. Uh, working designs, you know, I'm a huge fan of working designs, work, and the games that they put out. And they absolutely knocked it out of the park with the games they put out on the Saturn. But anyway... 
Okay, so this first game was like a $5 game I picked up at a yard sale. It's an RPG. It's kind of got a funky battle system. I didn't play it that long. I'm going to get to it eventually. I got a ton of games in my backlog to get to. But that is Time Stalkers. You can probably find this game for 10 bucks at your local retro game store if they have it. And I was really surprised to find this one. I actually did a video on this game and I picked it up really cheap because it has a water damage manual. But the game, look, the game's in excellent condition. It plays great. It's one I've been looking for for a long time. And I got an excellent deal on it. And that is Gunbird 2. Now, I do believe that this is in the same family of games as Mobile Light Force. Um, and this is a U.S. release. This is not an import. But if you own a Dreamcast and you love shooters, you owe it to yourself to play this game. This is an excellent shooter on the system. And I do not say that lightly, you know. I'm not going to suggest a good game to you guys or a game that's not that good that I say is good. Believe me, when I say a game's good, I'm not bullshitting you. This is one you want to look out for, Gumbird 2 on the Dreamcast. Absolutely check that out. Okay, I have, I have a couple of Sega CD games. Yes, I have a couple of Sega CD games, and they are getting harder to find, let me tell you. But both the ones I got, they're, they're decent. They're not really that expensive, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so this first one I got, I only got the game and the manual, um, and I paid, it says $14.99, I paid 10 bucks for this, purely out of nostalgia, and that is Dragon's Lair. And it's kind of funny that I got this game, because I'm going to show you something in a minute that's pretty interesting, but yeah, Dragon's Lair on the Sega CD, pretty cool FMV game, you know, check it out, it's pretty cheap, you know, you could do a whole lot worse on the system, I'll tell you that. Now, this next game has got a lot of criticism on the Sega CD, and it's not, it's known for being a very cheap game on the platform, and it's its a shooter, and it's a pretty decent one. It's by far the cheapest shooter on the Sega CD, and that is Soul Feast, and this game is complete with the manual. I don't know why it's in a smaller uh, jewel case type of thing. Um, you know, they're all like this. If you get a copy of Soul Feast, it's going to look like this now. I don't know if it was like a packing game for the Sega CD back in the day, but yeah, I paid $15 for my copy. $15 for a shooter on the Sega CD. I mean, that's a win in my book. But yeah, look out for Soul Feast. It's a cheap game. I feel like this game, the price is going to go up soon. I don't know why it hasn't yet already. It's not that bad. It's pretty good. It's decent. I've definitely played worse shooters than Soul Feast. Okay. All right, I've gotten quite a few PS4 games over the past couple of months, and I'm only going to show you one. I just grabbed one for this video. Um, it's weird, guys. I didn't even think I could do a pickups video because, like, man, like, I haven't even bought that many video games in the past couple of months. And then when I think about it, fly in front of me. When I think about it, like, I've, I have, like, I've really slowed down on my game buying, but, like, through, like, trades and deals and people that have given me games i i have found quite a bit of games over the past couple of months but man guys as i was filming my kid ran down the stairs almost knocked my camera over so if that is conveyed in the video in any way i'll try to edit it out but uh i apologize for that anyway moving on to the playstation 4 you know i haven't bought that well i bought a few playstation 4 games in the last few months and although I only, I'm only going to show you one, because this is one that I think that you might be interested in. Um, if you like platformers, if you're into the, what they call like Metroidvania style of games, um, this one has a pretty interesting game mechanic. And that is Bunny Must Die, Chelsea, and the Seven Devils. Um, look up some videos on this game. It's pretty good. Now, I got this from Strictly Limited Games when it released. It took a couple of months to get to me. Um... And I, I looked online, and this is one of those ones that's kind of shooting up in price. Um, it's a decent game. I don't know what it's going for now. Maybe, I want to say probably more than 50 maybe 70 80 bucks. I, I'm not quite sure. I haven't looked it up. I looked it up when I first got it, and maybe it just had an initial uh, price hike, you know, due to, you know, supply and demand. Um, but, yeah, definitely check this one out. If you like Metroidvania styles of games and you like platformers, this is a pretty good retro-style platform on the PS4. And that is Bunny Must Die, Chelsea, and the Seven Devils. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe it's Chelsea and the Seven De Devils. I don't know. Okay, moving on. 
Got a couple of uh, Genesis games, although I'm only going to show you one because this is one I never heard of before, and it is an action RPG. Yes, an action RPG on the Sega Genesis, and that is Techno Clash. Um, yeah, this is a game that EA put out. Now, I know EA put a lot of sports games out in the early mid-90s, but this is actually an action RPG that they put out, and my copy is complete. There's all kinds of maps and manuals, and guys, I'm really blessed to live near a, a retro game store in my area where they really look out for me. I mean, the owner looks out for me. There's a couple of kids that just work in there where I can't get deals from them, but like their manager there, um, the owner, like they really look out for me. They they love when I come in. I, I own um, an embroidery and a t-shirt store, and you know some of those guys they actually get shirts from me. Um, I always look out for them when I buy games. They definitely look out for me. I'll even go as far as to say that a lot of the games that I own, I would not own if it wasn't for these guys. And that place is Gamers Paradise in Joppa, Maryland. It's actually in a flea market of all places. But don't sleep on that store because they have some amazing stuff. And you will find some amazing stuff in that store. Trust me, they, they have tons of stuff that you, you guys will want. I mean, I've picked it apart, but I mean, like I got every, you know, like the Sakodans and the, the Panzer Dragoon Sagas and the, the crazy Saturn and Sega CD stuff. Like I've, I bought a lot of that stuff from them. I've had a lot of that stuff for years. They still have a lot of that stuff. Don't get it twisted. I'm just saying that I've gotten everything that I want out of that store, but that's not even true because I find stuff there all the time. Like this game, Techno Clash. Check it out. It's an action RPG on the Sega Genesis, and I only played it for a little while. It had kind of a funky mechanic to it, but it's pretty cool, and I do plan on playing through this game and doing a video on it because, I dare I say, a hidden gem. You know, I didn't know about this game until just recently. It was a $10 game. Complete in box with maps, manuals, everything. And it's got the really cool EA Sega Genesis cartridges that I love. I think they're pretty cool. I like them better than the regular Sega Genesis cartridges. So, Techno Clash, check it out. Okay, alright, we're kind of winding down here. I feel like I got some pretty good games, right? Okay, so, next game I got... Okay, so there's a YouTuber that I watch, and guys, look, check out this guy's videos. This guy has some amazing game find, or game hunting uh, yard sale videos, you know, stuff like that. His name is Tatted Collector, because he has, you know, like tattoos up and down his arms. Tatted Collector, you know, country boy, awesome guy. Um, I actually found out about him through another YouTuber. I don't know why his name is slipping my mind. Rain, Rain Bean? Rain Bean. Um... R-E-N-E -E Bean, Ren Bean. Um, again, that, that guy does like rebuilds on systems, game finds, game hunting, stuff like that. Definitely check both of those guys out because in my opinion, those guys knock it out of the park with stuff that they find. And they, I tell you what, those guys really, really kind of motivate me to get, you know, to film, you know, some of the game finds that I find locally because I live in an area that the yard sales are like, they're, they're amazing out here. I have found some amazing video games at these yard sales around here like some of the stuff that i found you guys wouldn't even believe me so i feel like i need to get a lot of that stuff on film and if you guys want me to start making like you know game hunting videos you know let me know in the comment section if there's a demand for it you know i'll make those type of videos you know whatever you guys want to see but anyway you know let me get back on track here one of those guys that tatted collector guy in one of his videos was talking about clock tower and that retro game store that I was just talking about had a copy of Clock Tower 3 for the PlayStation 2. I remember he said he needed it, and I picked this up for 10 bucks. It is missing the manual, but, you know, that guy spoke really highly of this game, so I figured that he might want it. I could try to trade him something for it. He said he, he was good because it didn't have a manual, so... I don't know, I might send it to him for free, and I, I might try it out. You know, I'm not a huge fan of survival horror, but he speaks real highly on this series, so I think I might just try it out. And if I don't like it, you know, if you're watching Tatted Collector, you might have something in your P.O. box, but Clock Tower 3 for the PlayStation 2. You know, Tatted Collector says it's one you need to check out, so he's got a pretty good taste in games, so yeah, check that one out. Okay, so these next three games are Wii games, and I got these games for $60 in a lot. Um, it was like one of those like buy two, get one free deals they had. Um, it was the same day that I renewed my Elite Pro membership for another year. 
And you guys might be kind of surprised with the games that I got, but I got, and I paid 60 for all three of these, so let me know in the comment section if I ever paid or not. But I got Dragon Quest Swords. I got Dragon's Lair Trilogy. And disregard the price tags on these, because like I said, I got deals that three for 60. This is a good one. I got Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Um, this is an excellent condition. I mean, they're all, all three of these games, uh, Dragon's Lair, they're all, they're all in excellent condition. And I think it's kind of, a, it's kind of a coincidence that I got Dragon's Lair on the way. Shit. Oh my God. All my games almost just fell over. Thank God they didn't. Anyway, guys, it's kind of a coincidence that I got Dragon's Lair on the Sega CD, and two days later, I got Dragon's Lair Trilogy or whatever on the Wii. And I think it's funny that this is called Dragon's Lair Trilogy, because it has Dragon's Lair 1 and 2, and then it's got a game called Space Ace on here that has nothing to do with the Dragon's Lair tr games. So, be on the lookout for those games. Um, you can find them at GameStop pretty cheap. Like I said, I grabbed all three of those for 60 I do believe that that Fire Emblem game probably goes between $40 and $60. I haven't really looked it up, but I do know it's kind of one of the pricier games on the Wii. Anyway, moving on. Okay, this is the second to last game. I'm going to show you two Saturn games that I recently got. First game, I paid $6 for this at that same local retro game store that I keep talking about. And this is a pretty good game for $6. Like, guys, I bought this thing for the case. My Panzer Dragon Saga's got this big crack going across it, and I'm like, man, I gotta fix that. Someone pointed it out to me, and it's really bothering me. So I bought this for the case, ended up keeping the the game that it came with in the case. Now I'm about to find a new case. Maybe I'll find a sports game somewhere. I don't know. I'll, I'll replace that uh, case eventually, but that is Hyper 3D Pinball. I paid $6 for this game. It goes for $10, $15 bucks online. Definitely check it out. Totally worth it. I got a video on it. It's one of my newest videos, so yeah, definitely check that out. And this last game, this was my best find. Okay, guys, I paid, I paid, what did I pay for this? Maybe, I think like between like 40, 60, maybe. I forget. I remember I got a deal. I got it about half of what it goes for online. This thing is in amazing condition, and that is Shining the Holy Ark for the Sega Saturn. Now, as you guys know, because I just told you, I love the Sega Saturn. I love the RPGs on the system. Working Designs knocked it out of the park with the games they put on the system. And the shooters on the system are just incredible. And the imports and import shooters, like, oh my god. Like, Sega. Like, well, here's what they did. The Sega Saturn kind of, it kind of like piggybacked off the Neo Geo and then kind of went in its own direction. Like, like, the arcade games on that thing are sick. And, you know, if you love the Neo Geo, but you don't have Neo Geo money, I certainly don't have Neo Geo money. You know, I got a poor man's Neo Geo, the Neo Geo CD, but I, I don't have MVS money, and I certainly don't have AES money, you know. Maybe I could afford a consoleized MVS, but... Um, anyway, so guys, Shining the Holy Ark, I played it for a little while. I am in the middle of a lengthy RPG right now, so I will get to this game probably within my next three games, but... Yeah, if you can find this game for under $100, definitely check it out. Um, I'm just surprised that I found it in the condition I found it in. And, you know, in talking about the Neo Geo, and you guys know also if you watch my channel how I love shooters and shoot 'em up shmups, spaceship shooters. There is a game that I, look, the Neo Geo dev team still puts games out to this day. They put them out on the MVS, they put them out on the AES, they put them out on the Dreamcast Evolve because they have that that uh, mill file for you know file format they can use there's a game that the neo geo dev team released about a couple of years ago it's called rise on look at r-a-z-i-o-n if you guys like shooters look at some videos on this game it this game looks awesome they released it for the aes and the mva the aes and the mvs the neo geo dev team released it and um God almighty, like, I, 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 God, I hope the Neo Geo dev team releases it on the Dreamcast or some type of platform. I hope that Limited Run Games gets a hold of it and put it out on the PS4. Like, guys, I'm going to do a top 10, like, shooters of all time video because I own a bunch of shooters, but 
man, like, I got to play this game to see if it's going to go on that list. Like, uh, dude, this game looks so awesome. It looks like the most amazing shooter. Check it out. Look at some videos on it. It's called Rise On. If you get the AES card, it's like there's one person selling one copy for like two grand. There was a guy in Italy selling a copy for a thousand, but like I don't even own an AES. If I find a copy for over 500, I'm jumping on it. I'm just, I don't give a fuck if I got to eat ramen noodles for a year. This game's that serious. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You know, what games have you picked up over the past couple of months? You got any hidden gems? Anything crazy you want to let me know? You know, let me know in the comment section. You know, I love when people find, you know, I'm not a hater. I want to see all you guys make amazing finds, good deals, you know, all that stuff, man. I'm proud of people when they find, you know, a $500 game for $5 at a yard sale. That's awesome. You know, especially if it's going to go to a home where it's going to be appreciated. You know, if it's a fucking scummy reseller that's going to make a ton of profit on it, you know. I'm not against reselling games, but, you know, if it's someone that's just going to resell it, and, you know, hook the seller up with some money. You know what I mean? You know, it's not all about, it's about the hobby. It's not about making money and being greedy, at least not for me. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Now, remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, peace out.